All right, Chicken Ship Farms coming back at you with another budget handgun review. This is a early model Taurus. Actually, I believe it's a late 90s model Taurus uh, 6, 605 357 Magnum. This is the lightweight model, uh, five shot capacity, single action, double action revolver. I picked this up on Gun Broker. Uh, about six months ago from King's Firearms and uh, I believe it's in Columbia, Tennessee. I've actually bought quite a few guns from them in the past. I bought uh, this 357 Magnum and I bought a, uh, I believe it's the same model in a 38 Special. So, let's take a look at it here. So this is an earlier model. Uh, a lot of the newer models in, in the 605 come with a matte, uh, matte black finish. Um, uh, I wanted an earlier model because I have a model 82 with the blue. And it's, uh, I mean, it's a good finish for a, a budget firearm. I said this one's actually held up fairly nice over the years. I wanted a, a secondary carry weapon and uh, I like the 38 that I got from my wife, so I thought I would get something with a little more punch. But I will say with this 357 Magnum, a lightweight revolver uh, with a short barrel, it's got a lot of a lot of muzzle flip on it. I mean, it really has a, packs a pretty good punch. You can see when you hold it here, you know you got your pinky floating around back here. I mean, you can still still handle this gun without any problem but uh, I'm thinking the one with the, the larger grip might be a little easier but one of the beauties about a 357 Magnum is you can fire a 38 Special and it's uh, you know, the 38 Special still got a little bit of muzzle flip but it, uh, it's a lot more manageable than the 357 Magnum and such a short pistol here with this I said it's a pretty light but uh, let's take a look at it, see what we got. This is a uh, double action, single action revolver. I actually do prefer that instead of the bob handle, which is uh, dual action only. Uh, this one still has a key lock. And even my wife's newer 38 Special also has a key lock, but we, we don't use that. But... Um, I know a lot of people that do like that, especially if they got children in the house. I said the got a pretty pretty nice lock up here. I said things empty. This gun has been used. Still locks up nice and tight. Doesn't have any play in it. Let's take a look here. Yeah. Locks up nice. It's good. It's got like a almost like a hogue type uh, grip on it, but it's not as as soft or sticky. It's still fairly comfortable, and with this little little bit of uh, texture here on the grip, it actually does hold your hand pretty well. Let's see here what we got. Got our trigger gauge from Wheeler today. Not sponsored, but it was the only one I could find, so that's what I got. We're gonna check it out and see what uh, what we get here in double action. Looks like nine pounds, 0.9 ounces. That's not not terrible for a double action. Let's see what else we can do that a couple more times there. Nine pounds, eight ounces. Nine pounds, three point four ounces. That's not bad for a uh, for a double action revolver. I mean, most of the time you see those are ten, eleven, sometimes twelve pounds. So let's check in single action. So it should be substantially lighter. Let's see what we got here. Two pounds, eight ounces. Two pounds, 5.3 ounces. Two pounds, two ounces. 
a very, very light trigger pull in a single action. I said when you, you feel it, you got a tiny little bit of take up. And then it's, it's pretty smooth. It's not very gritty all the way back. A nice, smooth, crisp break. This, this, uh, I've been pretty impressed with this. Now, the newer models, I don't think the trigger's as good on the newer models than the older models. I know the finish isn't as good on them, or I don't like it as much as the older models. But I'm a, you know, a blue fan. Not a huge fan of that matte finish. But it does wear well. It does as far as on my wife's. So, but there you have it, guys. These... I picked this one up in the height of the pandemic, and I know I overpaid for it, but it was, uh, I think, $350. The newer version that I got my wife in the in the 38 Special, uh, the lightweight, was $269, I believe, and I'm going to pick up a, a stainless 38 Special I found at... Uh, a lo one of my local gun shops this coming weekend and it's the 38 special I'm gonna pick it up I think he was asking 279 for it but these these older pistols a lot of times you can find them on gun broker they're gonna run you somewhere between three and three hundred fifty dollars sometimes they're gonna go a little higher uh, but I said you're gonna pay you know, five, six, sometimes seven hundred dollars for Smith and Wesson in this uh, in this condition and configuration. So uh, that's why I'm bringing it out. It is a definitely a good budget item. A lot of people really do like this this revolver. They've got some good marks. And uh, one thing I would do is maybe add a little bit of, of orange paint here or even white to pick up this front side a little better because sometimes you can you can miss that that's probably the only thing I would say you should do to this this revolver but once again guys another budget option are you guys looking for uh, for a good secondary weapon or a home defense everyday carry I mean this is a great option that's your sure packs a punch if you want to you want to shoot the 357 Magnum, but it uh, with 38 special even plus P's, it, it's uh, it's a good little gun. I said for for the price, it's kind of hard to go wrong. So, you guys take a look at the Taurus 605. It's uh, definitely a thumbs up for me. We'll get it out on the range and do some shooting here in in the future. But uh, I said guys take a look that's what we're all about bringing you quality high value firearms for you on a budget and uh, if you like this video give us a like a subscribe share it with your friends thank you